Hello everyone, welcome to Nice New Cories 2. Just like the Tetras, we'll try to make this a regular thing whenever 10 good looking new species have been filmed here. Corydoras maculifer comes from the Rio des Mortis, in the upper Araguaia system, and it was described 50 years ago, but is coming in only now. It is similar to the short snouted Corydoras araguayensis, but with a long snout and bright orange background color, it is a really striking fish. In the upper Araguaia, small streams and shallow rivers flow over white sand and rust red bauxite and iron ore pebbles with dense masses of aquatic plants before entering the muddy white water of the Araguaia. Remember that a lot of these places have quite cool water, around 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 Celsius, and these types of quarries do not like their water too warm. We did two videos from the habitat of Corydoras araguaiensis. You'll find links to this place in the description. If you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and share these videos. We'll have a lot more places to show in the future. Scleromystax prionotis is the least scleromystax-like fish in the genus. Most of them have that typical color pattern of black, white and gold patches that we see in the most common species, Scleromystax barbatus. But prionotis is smaller, more round-headed and looks a lot more like a Corydoras. During feeding, however, they show that typical Scleromystax behavior, where they swim a lot more and form this sort of hyperactive gaggle that competes for food. This fish comes from the Rio Dolce Basin, the river that was nearly destroyed by pollution from a tailings dam collapse in 2015. If you're curious about Scleromystax in nature, check out the video we made showing CW38. A link will be in the description. Scleromystax salmacus is a recently described species and one of the most beautiful Scleromystax. The pattern is an intense black and white and this species is much smaller than the gigantic Scleromystax barbatus. These species are all quite similar to each other and we can expect other species to be described in the genus in the future. If you like active quarries, Scleromystax would be my first choice. But remember that these Atlantic rainforest fish prefer cooler water and should never be kept in water warmer than 25 degrees Celsius or 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Corridora savatsky are a beautiful long-snouted species from the remote Rio Aripuana, a tributary of the Rio Madeira. This is a very active, striking fish that has only been exported this year and commands a high price. The Aripuana is difficult to reach and forms a steep gorge with a spectacular waterfall. Some of these fish from remote places will not appear in the hobby often, so I'm happy to present some of the first videos and photos. All the videos and photos in the aquarium and in nature are a lot of work, so please remember to subscribe to this channel. As it grows, we will have more content from all over the world. Wild Corridoras fullery really do not get exported often, because few fish are collected in the remote Madre de Dios region in Peru. This fish is named after England's own Corridoras Pope, Ian Fuller, who is the author of the best Corridoras books available, a must if you like to keep these catfish. Corridoras Fullery was initially known as both C-115 and C-116 and was scientifically described in 2021. They are a very active, long-snouted species that is now bred commercially in both Europe and Asia and should remain in the hobby. Corridoras CW160 is one of the Corridoras ancestor group that come from the Jacarea Kanga region on the Rio Tapajos. The first of these was CW4, a fish with a very stout body shape, lacking the elegance of most quarries, and that fine spangled pattern on the face. In the last few years, more fish have come from this area, and besides CW4 and CW160, there are several other variants that have this fine spotted pattern on the face. The other quarries in the region have bold horizontal black lines and CW160 seems to be a mix of the two major groups in this area. In Japan, these fish are known as Hikari Corridoras, referring to the bold bright bars that resemble rays of the sun. Corridoras species Rio Arua or C71 is not as spectacular as some of the other fish we're showing today, but it is very rarely exported and also proof that grey fish can be beautiful. The Arua is the lowest tributary of the Rio Tapajos, first entering the Rio Arapunes just before it joins the Tapajos and immediately becomes part of the main branch of the Amazon. There is also a very attractive but also grey dwarf cichlid found here, Apistogramma Arua. There are just so many fish in this group, we now have 
We now have 170 or so described Corydoras, 5 Scleromystax and 22 Aspidoras, with new species being added every year. Easy to see why these fish have something for everyone and are most aquarist favorite catfish. We have tons of Corydoras content showing many species in nature. Check out the description and you will find all the links. Corydoras species Rio Tacana is a massive, long-snouted species that resembles both Corydoras semi-Aquilos and Corydoras fowleri. These get absolutely huge, with some fish measuring 12 centimeters or nearly 5 inches. They are terra firma forest stream fish, where cool, shallow water is permanently shaded by several stories of trees. The Tacana is near the Brazil, Colombia and Peru Triangle, north of the town of Leticia. In recent months, some Apistogramma and other fish have been exported from this region and these bold and active long-snouted quarries are the highlight in my opinion. To keep these bigger species that show some aggression between each other, you need some very large aquariums with strong current. I found this fish a good choice to keep with medium-sized peaceful cichlids such as Aquidins, Acoronia or wild angelfish. Remember that these long snouts need pristine water conditions and can be quite sensitive to elevate nitrate levels. Weekly 50% water changes are a must to keep them long term, as is water movement and lots of food. This new laser Corydoras variant comes from Sara Marisa in Peru. The new pencil fish from the Amaya region caused quite a stir last year and along with it came many new fish from the Amaya, including Ancistris, Knotus, Hephesobricon, Apistogramma and others. We got our fishermen to film some video in the Amaya habitat and it is well worth watching. There will be a link in the description. At Sara Mirisa, the Marañón, one of the three principal tributaries that forms the Amazon, squeezes into a narrow channel called the Pongo de Manzariche. Below the Pongo, small streams enter the Marañón from the north, and the corridors here are quite similar to CW10, but have a really beautiful fluorescent rainbow coloration with an orange, black and green line down their side. Corridora species CW106 long nose is one in a long line of nicely patterned white quarries with intense black markings. These are common in the upper Rio Negro and Rio Vaupes region. They occur in smaller rivers and streams that flow into the big black water rivers, where white silica sand and dark leaf litter create the ideal substrate to camouflage the black and white patterned quarries. With so many unknown epistogrammas and quarries from this region, Expect a flurry of new scientific names as all these recently discovered fish get named. These include CW49, 51, 70, 71, 88, 89, 91, 106 and 107. This CW106 has a slightly longer nose than the original one and may well be another cryptic species hidden in the population. I hope you enjoyed our new Corridoras part 2 video. In the description there are tons of links to other Corridoras content. If you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share these videos as much as you can on social media.